Quick disclaimer before the video starts, I want to quickly say my audio came out a bit weird in this one because my Yeti was actually facing the wrong way. So please just ignore that. I'm really sorry about the audio. Be fixed for the next video. Enjoy. Previously on Detroit Become Human. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You hate me. You hate me! I want everyone to leave! When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. It's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Now it's my turn to decide. Connor, you better save her. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Malcolm here, and welcome back to some more Detroit Become human now guys we are back for some more detroit become human you guys really like the first episode so we're just gonna hop straight back in to where we left at with marcus i don't know if i mentioned this but uh, i like your interior decorating it really reflects your personality i like it i can't do this anymore all right we're home guys all right so we came bellini paint store uh was it package do i gotta put a package over here okay i got you all right so marcus fine individual himself so this is where i actually was really intrigued to see uh where we left off from the bellini paint store after we got aroused and bullied by those idiots back in the street um protesters who were literally attacking marcus for nothing i guess they stole his job but he didn't steal the job he didn't make himself but whoever made him obviously were mad people are angry the jobs are gone but yeah just oh i remember oh whoa hey what is this room Oh, is that the guy we look after? So yeah, this is where I was gonna this is what exactly I was just about to get on to and say. So this is our guy we look after. Uh, I don't know if they have a name. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. All right. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. It's literally the dude from up. Carl. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh yes, I've forgotten. All right, Carl. That is the difference Got your meds, bro. between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. All right, we're gonna inject you, Carl. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. All right, Carl, get up. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to put you... Are we actually going to carry him all the way to the bathroom? Oh, my God, we are. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Carl, I'm going to wipe you. <laughs> oh, Carl's taking a shower, guys. Ooh, what is that? Is that a fox? Cat? A raccoon? Raccoon slash cat? I don't even know. Alright, uh, taking him out of the bathroom now. Or the shower. Where are we putting him now? In his wheelchair? Alright. Here we go. So this is where the dude from up went. Alright. We're walking, uh, not walking. Anything we're special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Wait, how do we... Mm. Oh, this is how we get them down the stairs, okay. Yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? <clears throat> Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Oh, this dude must be famous. We've got fan mail coming in. Any news from Leo? Leo, who's Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. All right, let's keep going, Carl. So guys, this is our uh, master, I guess. I don't really know what to call him, but this is who Marcus looks after. 
Alright, we're gonna get you some well, breakfast, breakfast, Carl. Is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the Mark's way already you on it. Thank you already you. got your breakfast. You're welcome. Alright, you stay here, Carl. I'm gonna go get you. What did he say? Bacon and eggs? Get you your bacon and eggs, alright, old man? Alright, where's my bacon and eggs? Wait, where's the breakfast? Oh, here's the breakfast. Alright, let's take that. Put it on the tray. Give him a nice little knife and fork. And the smiley cup. And whatever that is. And. Ugh. Left! There we go. Alright. So, uh. Not too much going on right now. We're just giving Carl his breakfast. I think it's gonna pick up more though later on, guys. Like, we're gonna get some more, like, intense Connor scenes like the start. Because right now, it's starting off quite slow. Thank you, Marcus. Television. I got you. Oh, his TV just turns on straight away. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? I'm sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. <clears throat> Alright, we took care of Carl. Now we're gonna do something. Dude, look at this TV. God. Guys, this is only like 17 more years into the future. Alright, uh, can we play the piano? Can I play it? Play piano? Oh, I can. Here we go. Uh, let's sit down. Sit down and play the piano, guys. Can I start playing? Oh, so we have the option of mechal I'm not even gonna try to say that. Hopeful or intimate and let's do hopeful. Let's get let's get Marcus in a good mood. Let's give him some hope. For after you got beat up by those guys in the earlier at the shops. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's the that's the song from the start. Last episode. I like this. Oh, the old man's coming, Carl. You like my you like my piano playing, huh? Does it soothe your ears? <laughs> Stop. Oh, he's just watching me. That's kind of creepy. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. All right, let's take Carl to the studio. I was actually going to say something, guys. Um. Carl, not Carl, Marcus is very human-like, like, more than the others, more than Kara and Connor, and, like, just the other androids in general. Like, he has this thing in his face where he almost looks like he feels emotion. It's kind of weird. I don't know if I'm just thinking that, but for me, I don't know, Marcus, I was thinking that the last episode as well. Marcus just has this face, like, it's almost like a human, like, the way Carl just said, and oh my god, Carl's Let's getting looked up on a machine. Let's see where I left machine. off. Remove the sheet. All right, let's remove it. Okay, Carl. Damn. Got some nice paintings. Or whatever that is. Oh, I just, oh, it's a guy. Um, so what do we need to do? Do we just watch him? He's painting. All right, you know what? I'll clean for this guy. This guy actually respects us, unlike Todd. Todd was just telling us to do stuff and screaming at us for no reason but you st stood in front of the tv for one second guy looked like he was about to eat my neck uh all right let's clean these i don't know there's still like there's still something i, I don't know there's something so wholesome and nice about marcus so bad for him when he just gets pushed around you know there is a droid but like come on okay <laughs> like oh they lost their jobs but like still what this guy do um anything else for us to clean oh these are just heads uh, oh Oh, Carl, you finished? He's coming down from his transformer. What did he paint? So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I like it. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. 
I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> There's just something so nice about him when he smiles, I don't know. Like, Marcus smiling just makes me smile. Alright, here we go. Are we about to paint? Um, yes we are. Okay. Find a subject- Oh, okay. So we got a, a head, we got a statue, we got a desk. Okay, so we literally just got a statue a desk. I'm gonna go with the desk. Alright, let's start painting, Marcus. Zooms. There we go, get a bit of loop-de-loops in there. Alright, a bit of touch in there. There you go. Dabble. Oh, what did we paint? Um, that is a perfect copy. Marcus got skills. Of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it. Showing something you see. That's a wise old man. Carl, I don't th think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Wait, what are we doing? Are we paying another one? Or are we paying a bigger one? Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Alright. Close them. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist. Something you've never seen. Now concentrate. <laughs> on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. All right, so, okay, so we're thinking as Marcus right now, we got Android, Humanity and Identity. Um, I feel like not, um, I feel like maybe, his, let's do his identity. Androids, Despair, Doubts and Prisoner. Let's do Doubts, I wanna know. I wanna know what he's thinking about his doubts. This is cool, I like this. This is really cool. Alright, bang, B, B. There we go. Right. Right. Oh, something's going on in his head. His, his ring's uh, flashing yellow. This guy. Hey, Dad. Oh, it's his son. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. Why do you look so unstable? It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. Oh, he's doing drugs, no, isn't he? Me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, Whoa! that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Bro, the, the amount of abuse Marcus gets is unreal. <laughs> like, come on. Marcus, please do something back to them. Put them in their place. I feel bad for him. 
Wait, so that was Carl's son. So clearly he's on something. Maybe like drugs or something. I'm not too sure. He's uh he's moving a bit sus. Alright, November 5th, 2038. We are in probably the same city. Oh, Marcus up. He's back! Yeah, you know it's the tie roll up. It's Connor! It's Connor, let's go. Alright, let's head into the bar. I knew it! Like this guy is too cool to die. Oh, he's so cool. Like, I want to be friends with him. All right. Oh, let's scan the area. Yo, you see that guy right there, guys? See that? See that? See that dude right there? He is checking us off. I feel like he's suspicious about us. Wait, I can hold Y on him. Yeah, look at him. Match Peterson. Oh, wait. Are we looking for someone? Oh, we're looking for someone. Hi, guys. I'm just coming in. I'm just coming past. How you doing? You good? I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, going to the bathroom. Look at Connor checking himself out. Good, Connor. Oh, oh, wait, there's a, uh, hold on, I can't see this guy's face here. Oh, I can, I can, I can. LT Anderson Hang. We're probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. The attitude on people in this game is unreal. Reason, fret. You know what? I'm gonna threaten you! Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. Pick him up, Connor. Slam him on the table. Okay, that's a bit far. Reason, understanding, persist, persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? <laughs> he doesn't get it, he's enjoyed. Never mind. <laughs> uh, spill his drink, buy him another one, wait outside. You know what? I'll spill it. Give me a drink. I think we can go now. <laughs> you prick! Oh my oh, what's god! What's stopping me from knocking you out? What? Your sense of duty, Lieutenant, and the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Whoa. Wonders of technology. They can even program assholes these days. Gotta go. Duty calls. Wait, so we want to, like, partner up with this guy? Like, out of all the people, you chose this guy? Oh, we're going in? This is a homicide. I'm not confirming anything. Alright, let's head into the house to see what happened, guys. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. I'm with him. What part is staying in the car? you understand your order contradicted my instructions lieutenant you don't talk you don't touch anything and you stay out of my way got it got it evening hank we were starting to think you weren't gonna show yeah that was the plan till this asshole found me so you got yourself an android huh oh, very funny just tell me what happened we gonna call our beats switch angle Lord. oh Lieutenant that's cool i like that one, so he thought he'd drop by see what was going on that's All right, move, Hank. Name's All right, Carlos let's do some Ortiz. investigations. He has a record for the hell happened to this guy? And aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Move it along. Stay move stay aside, stay Hank. The crow's here. Hold up. The night. Gonna wait until morning. Connor is here. He's been there for ready to. Three weeks. Oh, here we go. What's this? More when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen. Not what is that? I'm not gonna here. try to pronounce those words. Probably the murder weapon. Oh, he's drugged. Any okay. sign of a break in? Alright, so I think nope. he. Maybe someone the opened it. said the front door was locked from the oh, inside. Oh, we got a knife. All Let's analyze that. Up. No fingerprints. Okay. The killer must have That's not helpful then. Not much. Oh, I don't like it again! 
Connor's got like a fetish for licking blood, guys. We had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. Oh, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Magazine. What is that? That's just a club. Guys, I'm trying to investigate here too, okay? I'm trying to put this together. Um. Um. Oh, let's examine this chair. Fingerprints. Oh, perfect. We got some fingerprints. Signs of a struggle. Okay, so someone was struggling on that chair. Maybe getting strangled? Alright, bathroom. What's going on in the bathroom? Ooh. What the hell is that? Dirty bathroom. Oh, what is this? It's like a totem. Religious offering. Okay, I don't think that's gonna be very helpful. Alright, we haven't examined the victim yet. Where are you, big boy? Alright, he's here. It done, Lieutenant. Ooh, you look like a Resident Evil 7 character. Okay, um... Put that. Alright, what is that? What is... 28 knife wound? What the hell? God, 28! What is the need for 28? Like, I get it, you want to kill the guy, but... Oh my god, that's overkill. Alright, uh... Drugs? That same drugs from over at the table. Uh, wait, what was on his eye? He was just deceased. And then we got 28 stab wounds. What's in his hand? One of the drugs? Oh, that's the fingerprint from the chair. Okay, let's reconstruct it. Let's go. Alright, okay. Getting up. Okay, we're holding Y here. What's here? Victim fell. Okay. Go here. Scan. Oh, this is where he got stabbed 28 times. Okay. And somewhere right here? Oh, there we go. On the door? What is that? It came from the kitchen. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I need to... Hold on. I want to look at something quickly. Hold on. Let's play this slow, guys. I want to I wanna quickly check something. That's an android. The movement of the guy stabbing uh, the big dude. The guy who stabbed him 28 times is moving... Has got like robotic movement. I'm, I'm, I think it's an android that killed him. See, what would you do without he Connor? Was stabbed 28 times. 28. Yeah. Times. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Why is he smiling at that? Oh, I gotta review seven more evidence pieces. No, three more evidence. Oh wait, I didn't. Hold up. There's a baseball bat down here. Hold on. I didn't see this. Hold on. Someone got batted. Let's reconstruct it. Wait, oh, he was buying the person first. Or the android. Wait, why was he buying them? Oh, and then he... They pushed him away and got stabbed. Okay, that... Oh, literally one more evidence piece and we're done. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... It started in the kitchen with the baseball bat. In the kitchen? Yeah. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android. Without a weapon, with the baseball bat, uh, with what? Uh, bat! With no, the no, knife. no, no. No, that can't be. Right? It doesn't fit the evidence. But I meant to put the bat. bat. With the bat. There we go. That lines up with why the would he? Go on. I don't get why he would do that in the first place, though. Like, why would he go pick up the bat and start smacking it at the uh, android? Uh, the android stabbed the victim. The android for ch stabbed the him, android right? stabbed the victim. Twenty-eight times. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room, it fled to the garden, or it fled to the bathroom. The living room. The living room? Yeah. Any fruit here. Let's slice up more. Whoa. Tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with a knife. With the knife. Twenty-eight times. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. 
Oh my god! He doesn't tell us where the android went. He was going! It was damaged by the bat. Yeah. And lost some Ethereum. Lost some what? What's Ethereum? Ethereum. Is that you their call blood? It blue yeah. blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Ah, see? Connor is a smart boy. Oh, it does. Examine. Are you gonna lick the blood again? A ladder was used. Wait. Really? Oh, secret hatch? Yep. Is the android in there? I kind of got nervous there as well, actually. I thought he was going to be behind that. But I feel like he's in the eye. Guys, I, I think the android's in the eye. Oh, I can use the chair. Wait, can I use the chair? Oh, I can. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'll show you, Hank. Going to oh, he's going to be in the eye, isn't he? Check. Oh, I'm nervous. Can you even reach that, Connor? Guys, we're going into the egg. Oh. Are you up here, huh? Oh, he is. Oh, he is! Oh. Wait. Connor, he's so cool, man. Search the attic. Alright, this is, this is nerve-wracking now. Hey, I asked, I asked for a story mode game, not a horror game. Oh, God. That's actually kind of scary. What? There he is. There he is. There he is. Get him, Connor! Bro, I... I literally just saw him run across. I... <laughs> I think he thinks we didn't see him. You're not sneaky. You're not that guy. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's hiding behind that. He's gonna, he's gonna jump scare us. Oh, there he is! Oh my god! Alright. Chill out. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? I actually kind of feel sympathy for him. It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, Connor! Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Come on! Alright, Todd. After all you've done to me and I still make you some spaghetti, huh? Some nice meat? And you still there treat me? I did what I like could. Poo? Here you go. Alice, you know, you enjoy yours, okay, Alice? See, look at the way she looked at Alice. So nice. Look at Todd just like talking and like, uh, turn on the light. Turn on the light. Okay. Can't see shit. God. I hate this guy so much. All right, serve Alice and Todd. I did. Oh wait, I'm gonna put a mortar. Here you go, That's Alice. Funny. Okay. I lost my job because of androids. Here you go, you fat scumbag. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? There you go, Alice. Oh, I'm a fucking android. What a joke. So you're mad at the androids, but you decide to buy one. Because androids are so fucking wonderful. Yeah, we are. They never fail. They never. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake! You're oh making my me God. nervous. Okay. No, don't start on the little girl. What's your fucking problem? Kara, please step Not in. The life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Oh no. Stop Maybe you him. think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. 
Fucking whore walked out on me from a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Oh! Yeah, it's all your fucking fault! Kara, you better beat this Come man right now. Come back here? Come back here right now! Kara, please, I beg you, beat him so badly. Stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. He did break her. Don't move. Wait, what's going on? What? Oh, does she have to listen to their commands? Or is she gonna... Oh, she's gonna break the commands. Come on, break out, break out, break out, break out. Oh! Ah! <laughs> on. There we go. Oh, she broke out the command. I think. I don't know if that's what we've done, but I think we've done that. Protect Alice, yes! Alice, I will protect you, okay? I've got you. Don't you worry. I will not let that monster touch you again. Just come here. Oh my god. Sort your life. You know what? Alice, I'm here. I'm He's here. Coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! Oh my god, she's talking. Uh, run with Alice. Lock room. Speak to talk. We're running. Alice, we're running. We're running, Alice! Lock it as well, though. Okay, no, maybe don't go out the front door. That's kind of dumb. Hide in another room. Okay, uh, maybe I should have just locked the door. It's all her fucking fault. You'd think by the thing Todd done last time to her, he would have changed. Like, I was expecting to go into this episode with Todd being like, I'm sorry, Alice. You know, I've done some bad things to you. But this time he's gone next level. He's like, you know what? This time I'm gonna slap you harder. Like, that was a proper, like, mom slap as well. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, door! We're going straight out. We're going straight out. We're going straight out. Nurse! No, Nurse! No, she's coming! Craig, he's coming! Oh my god! It's like a horror game! Quick, open, 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 open! Oh my god, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming! Go! Alright, oh my god, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running, let's go, let's go, Alex! Let's run! Run to the bus! Shut up. So, is this, like, how the androids, like, start be go becoming, like... Start becoming like more, like um, less obedient. Like they can break out of it, I think. Damn. Todd took that next level. Like Jimmy from At Dead of Night has got some competition now. Are we back as Marcus? Yes, we are. Went on a trip with Carl. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. <laughs> Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, <clears throat> what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. All right, where are we going? Kitchen? Let's go, Carl. Me and Carl, boys. Scotch? Neat as usual? All right, let's get Absolutely. him his alcohol. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Pour him some. Did you leave the light on in the studio? Uh oh. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. That's um, Leo, isn't Call it? Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Bro, this man is like eight. He's like, let's go check it out. Do you want an early death? <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Is it Leo? I think it is. Leo! Yeah, of course. Oh, wait, maybe. What are you doing? Maybe he didn't want to. You drugs. refused to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Oh. I'm about to beat you, Leo. Uh, reason. You know what? Okay. I'll be reasonable. For now. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Okay, we Get were reasonable. Right Beat him. What makes it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't? Leave him alone. Whoa! Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just gonna fight back, you fucking bitch! Oh. I must decide for myself. Oh, he's breaking free too! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh he's breaking out. You messed up, Leo! Oh. Leo. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No, oh, he's having a heart attack. Just be me and my dad. I'm gonna, gonna push him away. Get back! Oh, 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 oh. I, I meant just a little push, Marcus. Leo. Oh. oh my god. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I. Marcus! No, please, I don't want to leave you. Please, I can't. I don't want to leave you. Get out! Now! Go! Oh. Marcus! Don't fucking move! Did I just get Marcus killed? When he said push, it didn't say push aggressively or it didn't say push and kill him, push and knock his brain cells out. It just said push, so I thought he was gonna get off me. Nah, zoom all the way. And we're back as Connor, November 6th. What happened before you took that knife? Who is this guy? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine, we'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> We have to lose. Don't doubt Connor. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. All right. Let me in there. All right. All right. I know this is just getting really good now, but I'm gonna leave this episode here because I want to make Detroit quite a long series as well. And I don't want to finish this too quick because I know how fast I finish games nowadays. Like, I finish games so fast nowadays, guys. But anyways, guys, please drop a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And turn on notification bell so you don't miss out on a single upload, especially not the next Detroit. Thank you guys so much for the support on the first one. I've done really well, so I had to get part two for you guys. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys all really enjoyed. Take care, and I'll see you guys in my next one.
I'm out.